All right, we're about to have a very important discussion because I have figured some stuff out. Now, you've got two choices in life. You can take what life has to offer you or you could go ahead and make some decisions on what you want out of life. The choice is yours. The choice is really yours. I have never been stopped so much as I have in this car. Two choices. You could take what life is going to give you, or you can take out of life what you want. Now, one of the things that has been very interesting for me is I kind of fell off into an opportunity. This YouTube thing definitely was an opportunity. This YouTube thing literally changed my life. And I've been doing it for 14 years. And one of the things that has emerged is the deeper that I go into YouTube, the deeper it gets. This, this hole, it, it, it doesn't seem to have a bottom. And one of the things that I want you guys to understand is it's the beginning of the year, people have to file taxes, right? And one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they go ahead and they start looking for deductions now versus going all the way back to January 1st of 2022 and coming up with a tax strategy. Now, I, I, you see a lot of stuff on YouTube about how to make money, side hustles. You see a lot of stuff about getting money, but you never see anything about the tax consequences. One of the things, selling a business, that could be one of the most foolish things you can do if you don't properly optimize the payment from the sale. But once again, it, it dawned on me. It really dawned on me, why aren't you seeing more tax information? Why aren't you seeing more high level business credit information? Because the majority of these people are not doing those things. They're not going out to a bank such as PNC. I have a business credit card and I am in the process of getting a line of credit and I can walk you through the steps point by point from a very high level but literally there are very few people who are practicing this stuff on a high level very very few very few and this is very much not in your best interest because if you're getting your information from someone who's just doing surface level tactics and strategies um, you will not be able to really pick the best fruit from the tree now I'm in a 250 six thousand dollar car um it's kind of funny oh oh i'll have to get it later because it's probably under the seat but they give you a laminated window sticker 
it is not ever placed on the car they give you a laminated window sticker but this is two hundred and sixty five thousand dollars total price sales tax cost of the car and I did not pay cash and I'm going to explain to you why I didn't pay cash I financed because between my trade-in and my down payment that created a loan balance and then I optioned for some additional packages such as maintenance and some other things so this brought my car loan up to a hundred and forty five thousand dollars now why did I go ahead and get a car loan when I had the cash once again I am talking about advanced business strategies so now on my personal credit I have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar car loan that if I wanted to go out and buy a commercial truck for my business I now have that loan reflected on my credit report. I could literally go out and buy a semi truck on credit at the moment because one of the things I did is I got that car loan off and I've already paid a hundred and ten thousand dollars of it off and I'm just gonna take the rest of the year to pay for that car loan and get the title next year because I'm not pressed to get the title um, just not so one of the things that I want to show you guys is high-level strategies but before you can start to utilize optimize and position yourself for these high level high level strategies you got to go ahead and get your basic fundamental stuff out of the way meaning all right once again and this is tax strategy but it all makes sense because it's all put together you want to have that long-term emergency fund that short-term emergency fund and that family operating account before you start your business or use your business income to develop those things this is foundational stuff because let's go ahead and examine some stuff that's that was public record uh, I had a heart attack and what happened after my heart attack I got richer let me say that again after my heart attack I got richer because it's all about positioning and tactics and strategies because one of the things that I'm positioning myself for and let me be a hundred percent on the clear I flipped two houses using cash uh, for what I want to do I don't need credit for the things I want to do for the businesses I want to start I don't need credit which is why this is the best time in history for me to develop business credit is when I don't need it this is one of the strategies I want to teach you because one of the things I consistently see all over the internet is people who are desperate for credit funding and that is the absolute worst time to try to get credit funding when you are desperate when you're struggling because once again what I want you guys to do is to be proactive and start setting the foundation for the things that you want to do now like I said um, I have no need for business credit at the moment I use business credit I, I use business credit in lieu of personal credit but I don't need it it's an option in my um, set of tools. It's a tool. It's, a, it's an option. And I'm going somewhere with this, so stick with me because all of this will make sense. You need, <coughs> you need to start prepping yourself for your future. 
that's what you need to be working on right now. You, be, you need to be prepping yourself for your future and making moves for your future right now. Now, going back to this vehicle, this vehicle is a business vehicle. I financed this vehicle in my business name. And this business vehicle will be showcased in a lot of YouTube videos because it is a business vehicle. Now, I get to drive this $265,000 car and I get to write it off. Now, do I get to write all of it off? This car does not qualify for bonus depreciation. I can only take 20% per year for the next five years, which is roughly $55,000 per year that I can take off my taxes for this car, which I will do. But see, this car is just the, the beginning. This car is just the beginning strategy because where I live is a tax deduction this these clothes that I bought for this video are a tax deduction every time I buy a bunch of brand new clothing and you see it in the videos that becomes a tax deduction so what I have done is optimized my life as a tax deduction there's very few things you know what I pay for personally food food is what I pay for and maybe vacation everything else the business pays for and the majority of this stuff is a tax deduction and one of the things that you will do is you can't go to Google and look for this information why can't you go to Google and look for this information because there are very few people who are playing this game to begin with. There are very few people playing this game. And then once you separate those people who are playing this game, there are very few people who are playing this game at a very high level. I am playing this at a very high level. I've shown you receipts. I've shown you um, pay stubs. I've shown you bank accounts, ATM receipts. So I'm showing you that not to impress you or to go, oh wow, Glenn has got a lot of money. I'm showing you that my stuff works if you work it. Right now, the average person, if they were to deploy a few simple strategies, these people you get a significant tax return in their lives but once again they have I'm sorry to, I can't help with creating messages what they have to do is optimize their life now let's talk about that how did I get to the point where I was able to go into a dealership finance this car in my business name and once again, I had a business that made money. Many of you who will try to do some of this stuff, it's not going to work because you haven't optimized yourself to do it. And this is where the foundational aspect becomes extremely important. When you get in on the foundational level, I'll give you an example, Duke beat Michigan, when Michigan had argumentably the best uh, raw talent, six basketball players in the nation. And Duke, who was a team that was technically and fundamentally sound, technically and fundamentally sound, beat Michigan. Now, that shows you the power of having your paperwork together <coughs> and it shows you the power of structure 
in optimizing your life. Now, one of the big things that people don't seem to understand and people don't seem to grasp is the United States of America is a system. It's a system. And if you know how to operate the system, you can win. If you don't know how to operate the system, you will lose. It's just that simple. And one of the things that I'm getting ready to do for those who are interested is teach people how to optimize their lives to put more cash into their lives to build greater facilitation of using this system this car I am using the system I use the system to get this car I use the system to optimize and I've gotten letters from the Internal Revenue Service talking about oh well we're going to readjust your tax returns I got a letter they readjusted it 66,000 now I had seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in deductions so a sixty six thousand dollar to revision in my deduction stack is not going to really do a big uh, pile of damage but I want you to think going back to you can live the life that you want or you can take the life that is handed to you what I am talking about is living your life in a manner that facilitates you to enjoy your more of your money because if I wasn't utilizing these tax strategies these tactics I would be paying four hundred thousand dollars per mill in taxes four hundred thousand per mill that's a lot of money and what I want to do is educate you on the mindset of a business owner educate you guys on the things that you need to do so you can take advantage of the system the system AKA the matrix. I don't believe there is a quote matrix. I believe there is a system. The system will use you for your time, effort, and labor, or you will use the system for your personal desires. And I'm getting ready to get into some very heavy, heavy, heavy training to give people more than a fighting chance more than a fighting chance I'm getting ready to set this thing up where people will have the mental and fiscal tools they all need to be successful now this isn't going to be for lazy people this isn't going to be for uh, folks who are looking for shortcuts this is going to be for people who are willing to put in the time effort and work to make this process work because once again I'm wearing a $51,000 watch I'm driving a $265,000 car I live in a million dollar place and all of this has been made possible by understanding and using the system. Using the system. Once again, you've got two choices. You can use the system or the system is going to use you. There is no middle ground with this. There's no middle ground with this at all. You use the system or the system will use you and I will teach you how to set yourself up to be optimized where you can get massive benefits from the system. I'm talking 
stuff that will literally blow your mind. I've been living like this for years and it's everyday, common, usual, normal for me. But for someone who is new to this way of thinking, some of this stuff will be mind blowing. It will be literally blow people's minds on the things that they will be able to do, the things that they will be able to achieve, the things that they will be able to facilitate by. So, this is what we're getting ready to do. I have not one, two, but three levels of training. And I recommend that you start with the basic level of training, which will include some of these workshops. Because here's the thing, and let me get into the levels of training. There's hustle camp, which is foundational business training. Get you started, get you into your first business. And then we have getting rich, in business.com which is for scaling and then we have savage business and finance which is going to be more esoterical stuff that I do now what I'm beginning to do is every week I'm gonna have a live webinar and it's gonna be on Sunday about 4 or 5 p.m. where we're gonna do a deep dive training on some of these esoteric and some of these um, upcoming strategies, tactics, and ideals. Because here's the thing. This is not something that you're going to be able to do in a week or two. It's not happening. I want you to give yourself not one, not two, but three years to dramatically change your life. So those three levels of training will be below. Go ahead and pick what you need and I will be adding more stuff to this. That's all I got for you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.